who played only 17 games last year and only eight so far this year. It's been hard to develop them. Swings through and got the strikeout. One, two, three in order. Go the Spartans. And Dylan Trebach handles the top of the first in order here in Omaha. In practice. That's hit sharply into right center field. That might hit the gap, but it does. Roper rounds first, and he'll be in there for a double, looking at three, and he's going to try for it. Here comes Roper, around second and a third, and a triple for Dax Roper. Second, the infielders are setting up, and if they're anticipating a throw. That's hit sharply right by the third baseman, Nelson Padilla, and an RBI single for Jared Wegner. That got by him fast, it wasn't an error, right? Nope, they have posted the hit. And this energetic Blue Jay dugout, we saw them at peak form last week. And it's another wrapped up or are wrapping up at this hour, but we're just underway. And a third high pop fly. Vilches is out there, he's called off. Nice job by Dax Roper to call it off and take it for out number happened and everyone's, everyone's season got thrown off. As you get a swing and a miss here, or the strikeout to Mercado. It's the third of the game, fourth of the game, I should say, for Dylan Tabra. Grounded to short, Nolan Clifford backhands across the diamond. In time, what a play by Nolan Clifford in the hole for the Jays. Hadn't played shortstop much this year. Fantastic play. Put everything on it. 0-2. Got the strikeout. Big pitch for Dylan Tabrock. Well, he went up and in and got Satterstrom to chase. And gets the foul tip. Okay. It's a break for Clark. And then the ball gets by. Coming home, Jays on top, two to nothing. Scoring from third is Alan Roden. We mentioned it earlier. Urado has four pass balls. It's that back through the middle. Nice grab by Bergstrom. To two for the first, over to first. In time for the double play. Nice grab by Bergstrom to start it, and a terrific turn by Nolan Clifford. Clifford has been tremendous today at short. Nice job. Jay's out of the end. That's hit sharply into left field. Hamchuk on the way, but not going to get there. And that falls for the first hit of the season for Evan Spry. You take him how you can get him, Evan Spry. Friends. You get the most out of your 35 bucks. There goes Frederick. Hit and run is on. Slapped into right field. Terrific job of hitting by Vilches. And Frederick rounds second into third. And a nice piece of hitting with two strikes by David Vilches. The fence. Catching part of the game. Swings through the 2 2. And Sikowski comes in and gets the out. We have the bottom. Hit well into right center field, back up against the wall. That is gone. Solo home run. Alan Roden. And Roden picks up his fifth home run of the season. A frozen rope out to right center field, and that's one way to drive in a run without a base runner. And he gets the greeting in the dugout. This is a an off-speed pitch that hangs out over the plate, and Roden really gets contact. Watch him just get that extension. That's hit well into right again. Dax Roper with the shot. And Roper with a two-run homer. The Jays have opened it up here in the bottom of the eighth. Roper with his fourth home run of the season. 
RBI 12 and 13. As Josh Sanger has been stung here with two balls hit out to right. And watch him get the drive on this one. Rosera. 2-2. Hit sharply to second. Meggs has it. Fires the first. And the Jays have three consecutive shutouts and take game one of this series with San Jose State. Well, the offense wasn't quite what we have seen from the Blue Jays until the end when we got the two home runs in the eighth. But again, pitching and defense has been the key for the Creighton Blue Jays since they have returned home. And despite a great outing today from Jonathan Smith, it wasn't enough to beat the three-headed pitching monster that was the Jays.